G'day guys, how's it going? Cody Orgle coming to you guys with a video. It's been a while since I've filmed like a sit down talk video like this and I'm inspired. I've been reading your guys' comments on my past video. Uh, I think it was the video I did, uh, how I'm making $10,000 a month following my passion and doing the things I love. And there was an enormous amount of positivity from that video and I was just absolutely loving reading all your guys' comments. Really like genuinely made me cry. Cry out of happiness just to to see what sort of small difference my video was making to some people's lives. And it's really made me awaken to the idea of wanting to make more of those style of videos so that I can, you know, somehow create some kind of purpose in my life through helping people like that. And that's kind of the topic of this video. I titled it, my plan for happiness. I was watching a few other videos around this topic and it got me thinking like, what can I do to prioritize my happiness my purpose in life to make life that little bit more better and hopefully you guys can get some tips from this video by having a look at my plan and what I have in plan for me. Now going back to the start of this coronavirus pandemic and everything, it really challenged me like deep down inside and spiritually, like almost like a spiritual warfare, like having to put up with all the mandates, all the lockdowns, especially here in Victoria, Australia, one of the most heaviest lockdown uh, places in the world, really, really challenged me. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of other people out there as well. I struggled mentally to try and like deal with the demons that I was thinking about in terms of like doing what I wanted to do. I essentially got my business to a point where I could freely travel around, do all the adventures that I had planned while being financially capable to fund it. And I couldn't go because of lockdowns. And it really stuffed me up in the head like a lot. And I had to sort of flip the script and try and figure out a way to cope with that. And there's a few things that I did learn and there's a few things that I plan to implement further to keep my sanity. So, so excuse me for talking a lot about just myself, but that's all I have to base these videos off is my personal experience. When I ended up reaching my financial goals and you know, living my dream life and everything like that, it got to a point where that got old. It's, it's, it's weird to say this and a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, pity on you, blah, blah, blah you reached your goals kind of thing but the thing is it really stuffed with me like i got to a point where i wanted to get to in life and there was like this sense of still it not being enough i almost felt like i reached a point of desirelessness i, I reached like an an existential crisis pretty much where like I got the car, my dream car. I got all the money that I, you know, could, could ever want to live sustainably. I had that freedom lifestyle. I had everything that I wanted, but still there was a little something missing there. It kind of reminds me of this quote here that I have written down by Jim Carrey. It says, I wish everyone could get rich and famous and have everything they've ever dreamed of so they can realize that it's not the answer. I kind of got to a point in life where I realized that wasn't the answer. Those material things or that lifestyle I was after uh, yeah, they're great and it's awesome. I still love driving my car every day. It's fun as hell. Like, I really love it. It's not what we should be, like, ultimately striving for, if that makes sense. Or I have come to realize from my own personal experience that that's ultimately not what I want to aspire to. And really what I come to realize is that the true source of happiness doesn't come from attaining all those things. And then I realized that, I know it's so cliche to say this, but it's about the journey. Like as soon as you get to the end goal, I found myself like, you know, pretty content and happy for, I don't know, like a month or something. And then I lost a sense of direction because I'd reached everything and I, everything for me, no, that's not like trying to be a millionaire or anything. I just had some simple goals and some humble goals that I want to achieve. And when I got to that, I had like this sense of like, what, what do I do now? Like there's still a life to live. And that's kind of where I'm starting to learn to get more accustomed to the idea of falling in love with the process again and getting back into projects and, and doing things and not being too caught up on, oh, I'm not there yet. I haven't got it. I haven't achieved this next project or I haven't finished it, but more so just cultivating a sense of appreciation and a sense of like true passion from doing the task at hand, if that makes sense. It's just like this ultimate balance of staying on the chase, but not like so you kind of dominate the world, like within reason, of course, then also finding time to just chill out and relax as well. During like the past year, maybe, I have done like absolutely nothing really important to my business or anything like that in terms of growing it and that sort of thing. I kind of took a step back and just let it go on autopilot. And that's where it sort of got me is because I, I, I found I sort of lost a bit of purpose because I wasn't doing the things that I was truly passionate about. Instead, I was too caught up in being sorry for myself because I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do because of the coronavirus. That past year also taught me a lot about just slowing down and just being content with 
being in the moment and doing nothing and just appreciating your simple surroundings. But it's just finding that balance, I think. And then that leads on to the idea of living a more simpler life, which is what I freaking love. I'm currently in a house at the moment that I'm renting. Uh, this rent ends in about a month or so. I'm gonna take this opportunity to, to move into my four wheel drive and start living life on the road, so to speak, and having a more simplistic way of life, living out of, of a car, out of a vehicle, rather than having a huge house to get then trapped into the idea of buying crap and all that. And just, I find like buying a lot of things also complicates my inner world, if that makes sense. So I know I'm covering like a lot of topics here, but I'm just kind of like set the base for this video. So then we can go into some of the steps that I'm doing to cultivate my happiness. But yeah, deep down part of me likes the idea of like living like a monk and just heading out into the mountains, selling all my possessions and just doing the monk life for a bit, you know what I mean? Like deep down part of me likes that idea. And I think that's just like the type of person that I kind of am, that person who strives for that nomad sort of life. Kind of also feel a little down in the dumps about being in the same location for too long as well, being at this place for almost a year now. I sort of strive to just see new places and have new experiences. Uh, and I'm so excited for uh, patrol life. Uh, for that to happen like literally new experiences every day like like that's what I've realized life is about like it's just it's too precious to waste and I just want to get new experiences and just live life a bit more than I have being in lockdown and I, it's kind of changed my perspective to sort of just take a bit more of a risk with life and do something that's not normal that's that's another thing that sort of gets in my head a bit as well is like choosing the alternative lifestyle like this that not too many people that i know really agree with it or cheer me on about it and it's tough because it's like you're choosing a different lifestyle that uh, is against the norm and i just see like a lot of uh, i won't really get into that that's like a whole nother video okay so what am i doing to cultivate happiness and what's sort of my plan and what is this video all about really i think it comes down to self-love like i found myself trying to help other people and look out for other people and almost abandoning my own self it's kind of like that saying goes you probably heard it a million times where like the plane's going down you got to put your mask on first before you help others and i think what I was doing was, I don't know, I feel like it's like a middle ground there. I had such a bad analogy trying to explain it now, but I feel like I had my mask almost on and I was trying to help other people put their mask on too, when I should have properly put my mask on to help them. Uh, it doesn't make any sense, but that's kind of what I was doing. And I find like I got to come back to myself and looking after myself, giving a bit of that self-love. So this is the list of the things that uh, I'm thinking of to help cultivate that. And a lot of them um, I've been practicing and there's a few that I wanna learn a bit more about and practice a bit more. All right, so what's my plan? So meditation is one. I probably won't go into too much detail because these are like all different videos on themselves. Uh, reading, uh, working out, also working on my purpose and direction in life. And part of that would be coming back to these videos and essentially making these videos that hopefully it inspires and helps someone else out there. A bit more of my purpose would be to creating uh, content for cycling with my cycle travel overload business. And, um, I guess ultimately just trying to end suffering, like this is my purpose that I find for myself, is to try and end suffering for other beings um, and to almost cultivate um, a sense of peace and just make the world a little bit better place than it was before I was here. Even if it's in the smallest, possible sense. That is what I think my purpose is. And I think another thing that I want to work on is those human connections. Even if it's with strangers, oftentimes just getting too caught up in this digital world where we're creating friendships with people online, whether it's texting or on social media and stuff like that. And I feel like COVID probably hasn't helped with this. Like it's made us a lot more accustomed to the habit of just texting people rather than catching up and meeting people face to face. But I feel like even if it's with strangers, just having a genuine interaction, those human connections is I think what life is all about. Even if it's just looking into someone's eyes and acknowledging their existence in this world. And then also I think a lot of it comes down to cultivating habits uh, around things that you're passionate about and your hobbies. And for me, um, that's currently pack rafting. So I just got a raft that I can pack onto my bike and go rafting and hitting up lakes, rivers, and just exploring like small islands in the middle of a lake or something like that. I just get so excited talking about it. And then bike packing, which you guys know if you watch this channel at all, packing my bike with camping gear and just heading off 
into the woods or traveling somewhere around um, for a few days. True sense of joy right there. And then just generally riding my bike and all that kind of stuff, getting out in the outdoors, even if it's just a walk with um, a dog or whatever it is. Those sort of things for me is what I think I can do more of to create some more happiness um, for my life. Also, another thing I wanted to do was to focus more on, sort of goes back to my overall purpose with ending suffering, or well, not ending it, but just being someone who is responsible for a little less suffering. Um, I wanted to do some more, do like wildlife rescue, and I just currently finished a workshop where I can start becoming a wildlife rescuer, which is pretty cool. So I wanted to do something like that, where it's like volunteer work, where you give back and help animals and that kind of thing. And then another Another thing that I think is a huge thing, and it's been said a million times, I know, I'm sorry, where as humans, we're social creatures, we need those relationships and friendships. And I think another one for me is just finding those people, uh, your tribe, whatever it is, who really know you for you and speak to you on a deep like soul level, they really understand who you are as a person. Finding those type of people in your life um, can really add some richness to life, and I think that, uh, that's kind of what it's all about, right? There's also a few other things I'd like to do as well, like picking up newer hobbies, like I've been getting into Kung Fu lately, not to like be able to fight anyone, more so the idea of just learning something new, creating new um, neural pathways in the brain. I don't know, there's something about it that just makes you feel good because you've learned a combination and you're able to you know, do something new that you probably didn't do before and that sense of progression and learning something new I think adds a little bit to the happiness factor as well in life so leave a comment below what are you doing to cultivate your happiness I would love to know definitely leave a comment down below uh, I'd love to see what sort of things you're practicing in your day-to-day -day life to guarantee that you know you keep that sanity I think that's about it guys if you like this video make sure to give us a thumbs up please don't hesitate to put a comment down below if you feel like this video raised some pretty interesting points that you would like to talk about and if you have any other ideas or other videos I could film definitely let me know I love hearing from you guys hearing your comments really means the world to me especially when they're positive ones thank you guys for watching if you aren't subscribed make sure you're subscribed and uh yeah, see you later. <laughs>